Good morning, South Africa! It's the daily news wrap from the SouthAfrican.com. It's Tuesday, the 16th of February 2021, and my name is Lisa Grayson. This podcast is kindly sponsored by Bluegrass Digital. Bluegrass Digital, a leader in building digital solutions for your business in Africa. Find out more at bluegrassdigital.com. In our top story today, Jacob Zuma, hate him or love him, the man is a blockbuster entertainment. On Monday night, he came through with the goods in the 37-paragraph response to Raymond Zondo's conquered verdict. The DCJ has ruled that the former president should face imprisonment for failing to appear to the state capture inquiry, escalating the matter to the highest court in the land. But the ex-head of state wants the judiciary to take a closer look at Cyril Ramaphosa. According to Jacob Zuma, Ramaphosa has paid off judges and carried out their favors in order to secure an NAC election victory. Inside his household, Edward Zuma, Jacob Zuma's son, is willing to go as far as getting the locksmith involved to prevent authorities from arresting his father should the need be raised. We have a simple defense. We have locksmiths, Zuma Jr. said in an interview with Newsroom Africa. His awkward comment begs the question, did the Hawks already have access to the existing locks and does he really think door locks will keep them out? Meanwhile, DJ Fresh and Euphonic have both been cleared of rape charges leveled against them by a woman who accused the pair of drugging and taking advantage of her at a party. The pair were subsequently dismissed by employers, the Premedia Broadcasting, who instead at the time of their sacking that the motivation behind the decision was not related to the case. In other news, Twitter users have dived into the reserves of the pitch black humor on Monday after an old quote from Zuelim Kize about the coronavirus resurfaced. The statement, which was made 11 months ago, features a bold prediction about how long COVID-19 was going to stay with us. Thank heavens the health minister isn't a betting man. In your sports today, the reigning DSTV Premiership champions, Mamelodi Sundowns, have been summoned to appear before the PSL prosecutor following charges of bringing the PSL, sponsors and the South African Football Association into disrepute. Mamelodi Sundowns appeared before the PSL Disciplinary Committee on Monday after they were allegedly to have breached Rule 55 of the PSL Handbook during their recent DSTV Premiership match against Stellenbosch FC. Meanwhile, Bayern Munich player Jerome Boating's girlfriend, Cassia Lehad, was found dead in an apartment in Berlin on 9 February, just a week after their breakup. The model, who gained fame from appearing in television series, Germany's next top model in 2012, was found dead in the luxury apartment believed to be owned by Jerome Botang in Berlin's Charlottenburg neighborhood. And in other news, cricket is filled with the most incredible and obscure stats imaginable, and there's no one better than stars guru Andrew Sampson at highlighting the most obscure of those moments. For instance, did you know that England wicketkeeper Ben Foulkes on Monday the 15th became the first player in the test to take two stumpings in an innings on his birthday? Well, in your weather today, Bloemfontein comes at 29 degrees, Cape Town is 26 degrees, Pretoria you can expect 27 and Johannesburg is a cool 23 degrees. And that's all you really need to know from the South African today. Check out more of these and other stories at the SouthAfrican.com. My name is Lisa Grayson. This podcast is kindly sponsored by Bluegrass Digital. Bluegrass Digital, a leader in building digital solutions for your business in Africa. Find out more at bluegrassdigital.com. Thank you.